Today's question is one I get all the time, but one that is incredibly frustrating and difficult to answer, and here it is. Hey Todd, I went on a date that I thought went well, but I never got a second date. What did I do wrong? And unfortunately, whenever I'm asked this question, I have to say, I don't fucking know, because there's about a thousand different things it could be. I need more information to answer this question well. However, since it does get asked a lot, and since it gets asked in this format, I'm gonna help you guys out with what are the most common reasons why you might not get a second date. Basically, the thousands of reasons why you might not have gotten a second date can be broken into about four categories. Number one, bad game on the date. Number two, bad text game as a follow-up. Number three, bad strategy. And number four, bad luck. Now, first of all, bad game on the date. The most common reason among all men why you didn't get a second date is probably that you didn't make it man to woman enough, you weren't engaging enough, you weren't sexual enough, you didn't make enough impact on the date. And so while it may have seemed good to you, and while it may have been a pleasant conversation, it may have even been a deep conversation, you may have gotten to know the girl and you may have felt a connection, there's a good chance she didn't. There's a good chance she wasn't emotionally aroused. See, if you had what you thought was a great conversation about um, science and the world and your opinions on things and you talked about your job and her job and you were enthralled because she's beautiful, that doesn't mean that it was an amazing conversation for her. Without emotional spikes, she's going to see you as a friend at best and that means she's not going to have a lot of motivation to come out and see you on the next date. It doesn't mean she doesn't like you, it just means there's not enough reason why. Think of it this way. She has all her friends who she's had for 10 years and she knows she has a good time with and she has a deep connection with, if the maximum upside of you is friend, why would she do the risky might be friend instead of going and seeing her actual I know it's my friend friend? If the upside is potential lover, potential life partner, well now you have a chance. So if you haven't been man to woman enough on the date, you're unlikely to get a second date. Not because she doesn't like you, but just because she's kind of ambivalent, because there's not a strong enough motivation. And that is the single biggest reason guys don't get a second date. Ironically, on the flip side, maybe the second biggest reason guys don't get a second date is the complete opposite. And that is that they escalated too much or were too pushy with the escalation. So if let's say you got very close to having sex with a girl and didn't, and she goes home thinking, oh shit, if I see him for a second date, we're gonna definitely have sex or he's going to expect sex, she may be nervous or dreading that second date. So when guys ask me this question, what did I do wrong on the date? On the one hand, for a lot of guys I'd say, you needed to take more risks. On the other hand, I'd say to other guys, you needed to take fewer risks and make your risks more calibrated. So you can see already why this question is so hard to answer in a vacuum. Next major reason why you might not get a second date. Let's say you actually did try to make it man to woman and you did show interest. However, throughout the date, you didn't come from a high value frame. So the girl knows you're into her and maybe she even had fun on the date. Maybe she was even validated on the date and maybe she was even emotionally aroused by the fact there was a guy that was into her. However, when she looks back on the date, you just don't meet the category of the type of guy she sees herself with because you conveyed your life in a low value way or because you were needy and chasing her and she doesn't feel like being with you would be a win. So it's important that not only do you make it man to woman on the date, but that you make it man to woman from the right frame, from the frame where you're a high value person and you're a win for her. If she doesn't see you as a win, you're likely not getting a second date. The next common reason why you may have thought it went well, but you don't get a second date, is if you were very gamey and superficial on the date, but didn't have a lot of depth. So it's possible you were joking and flirting and even she was giggling and reacting, maybe even touching you, maybe even escalating. But if there was a lack of depth or lack of connection on the date, as in you didn't actually discuss any real stuff, you didn't discuss deep feelings, you didn't really even exchange any factual information, after the date, once she's no longer in that heightened arousal state, when she kind of comes down from it and she thinks back, who was that guy? She fundamentally doesn't know who you are. And she fundamentally isn't like, oh, that's a man I need to know. She's like, oh, wow, I was just really fooling around with that guy I barely know. That was out of character. And she's not looking forward to another date. So not only do you need to be emotionally arousing, you need to have some depth and connection along the way. And the final super common reason why you might not get a second date, at least for the purposes of this video, can fundamentally be simply that you didn't have sex. See, if the girl has been on dates before where she has sex on the first date, and then she doesn't have sex with you, afterwards she has to rationalize why she didn't have sex with you. 
and probably in order to maintain her self-esteem, she has to imagine that dates where she did have sex were better than the date with you in which she didn't, even if they weren't for other reasons. And this is actually especially true with online dating. A lot of girls, when they're dating online, they're actively going on a lot of dates. And if they are potentially sleeping with guys on those dates and they don't sleep with you, they've had one interaction with you. They never met you before, haven't seen you again since. And that one interaction, they didn't sleep with you. Other guys in that one interaction, they did sleep with. Fundamentally, you have an uphill battle. You have a disadvantage relative to the guys who they did make that commitment and did make that investment with. The next reason why you may not be getting a second date after a good first date may be your text game. And to do a complete breakdown of text game would be kind of beyond the scope of this video, but here's a few of the things you might be doing wrong in text game. Number one, your follow-up message might be really needy or really over the top. If you had a great time on the date and you tell the girl effusively how amazing it was for you and how amazing she is, she'd be like, ew, this guy is like really needy, really clingy, that date meant way too much for him. And even if she was feeling good about it before that, she may, you may have just killed all sexual tension. She may feel she has you and there's, there's no more win in you. And so therefore she may get turned off. On the other hand, oftentimes in texting, both before a first date and between a first and second date, guys do have the habit of texting and texting and texting and just being friends and not having any tension, not having any flirtation, maybe never even asking the girl for plans that can lead to no date because you're simply not asking for another date and then the momentum of the interaction dies out. Again, texting is a huge area beyond the scope of this video, but it is quite possible that your mistake is in texting or follow-up. The next reason you might not be getting a second date, bad strategy. And actually, bad strategy by itself won't deny you a second date. However, it will contribute to a lot of the other reasons your date might not go well. So for example, if you set a date with the girl where you have bad logistics, you're not meeting near your place or her place, but you're meeting halfway in the middle and neither one of you can get back to the other person's house, well, it's very likely you're gonna end up in a situation where on that first date, you don't have sex. And also, it may feel anticlimactic because it may have been a really intense date where sex should have happened, and now afterwards, she's gonna think, oh shit, on the next date, sex is definitely gonna happen. So now, because of poor strategy, not because of bad game, but poor strategy, you've made the fundamental problem of over-escalating and not having sex, and you've also made the problem of not having sex so you're being negatively compared with other guys, right? So your poor strategy, not poor game, but just poor setting up the date, led to two major errors that could prevent you from getting a second date. Another strategically poor decision on the date would be having a date where there's minimal interaction between you and the girl. A lot of guys will invite girls to a movie as a first date or even worse, a comedy show as a first date. Those are situations where you and the girl are not interacting. She's interacting with the comedian or interacting with the movie, but not fundamentally very much with you. And so during that date, there's not a lot of opportunity to connect. There's not a lot of opportunity to get physical. There's not a lot of opportunity to build a connection. And so after that date, fundamentally not enough has happened. She doesn't feel deeply enough connected with you compared to other dates with other guys where she felt more connected. You are being compared unfavorably. All this can lead to no second date. So those are all reasons why you might not get a second date, most of which are kind of your fault. However, there are times you don't get a second date and it has nothing to do with you at all. It's just bad luck. So let's say, for example, you have your date and that night or the very next day, the girl's boyfriend of five years comes back into the picture. Now, even if you had a great date, you have one date versus five years of time, commitment, investment. That's not a fair fight and you just might lose because of bad luck. Or let's say that right around the same time you start dating the girl, she gets sick and has to go to the hospital. Or she gets huge new responsibilities at work and doesn't have time for dating anymore. Or let's say her grandma gets sick and she has to leave town and then either she doesn't follow up because it doesn't seem like there's a point or she does follow up but it gradually peters out because she's just not there anymore. Those are not your fault. There's not really much you could have done about those. There's a lot you can do, but sometimes it's just bad luck. So in summary, do I know why you didn't get a second date? I don't have a fucking clue. However, you can do a lot for yourself by having good game, having good follow-up, having a good strategy, and then crossing your fingers you get lucky. Because there's a lot you can do to make sure that you most of the time will get a second date, but sometimes, even if you do everything right, you just won't, and that's how life goes. So I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you learned from it, and I hope you get more second dates as a result. Put your questions and comments below, and especially remember that I do take the questions below as what I answer for this channel, so if you want your question answered, put it down there, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.